Mr. Fackler, we're going to go to you. John Fackler, we'll go to you with story number three. This is coming out of Local 10, which is the ABC affiliate uh, down here in Miami. Uh, John, here's the headline. First couple of graphs, and please comment. Headline, police, man steals from Miami condo residents while serving as association president. Subhead, police officers responded to Blue on the Bay in Edgewater to arrest a resident accused of grand theft while serving as the, on the condo association. First couple graphs, Mr. Fackler, then I want you to comment. A former Miami Condo Association president stands accused of stealing from the residents of the Blue on the Bay, a gleaming curved 34-story tower overlooking Biscayne Bay next to Interstate 95 in Miami. Anybody wants to know where it is, it's effectively, um, it's right, there's a Denny's there. It's on the south side of the Jewish Hill Causeway, and it's just south of Miami Design District and just east of the uh, Midtown Miami. So I'll continue with the story, John. Uh, Miami-Dade police officers arrested Ben DeVere at about 6.25 a.m. on Wednesday at his 15th floor apartment at 601 Northeast 36th Street in Miami's Edgewater neighborhood, accusing him of grand theft, according to the police report. DeVere, known as known for his bad temper, volunteered for the Con Blue Condominium Association from 2019 to January when residents removed him from the board of directors, according to police report. Uh, after residents reported their suspicions, detectives accused DeVere, 47, uh, associated with Silken and Sisley of receiving kickbacks from a vendor and using a company owned by his mother-in-law to cover it up. The Tile Empire, a vendor for the condo association, paid nearly thirty-three grand to Jador, uh, Jador Cosmetics as part of an under-the-table deal that included a markup on invoices to embezzle funds from 2019 to 2021, according to police report. Mr. Fackler, um... I seem to remember a lot of allegations by uh, condo residents against associations. Uh, there's been some arrests in recent times, uh, like the last uh, six months or so. Um, so hey, does this strike you as interesting, uh, different, unique, or is this sort of par for the course? And then B, uh, you lived in condo uh, condos throughout uh, uh, South Florida during your tenure here down in Miami. What kind of situations have you experienced personally? Well, first, I'd like to say that <clears throat> for any, <clears throat> excuse me, any listeners or viewers uh, outside of the South Florida area nationally, maybe even internationally, may be stunned by these allegations or just the volume of corruption, alleged corruption. Those of us who live here or who have lived here for decades, we're used to this. This is not new. Uh, like Francisco said, there's maybe a new generation of scammers that are occurring. But uh, none of these uh, allegations is shocking. Um, embezzlement, um, any, anything like that, uh, buildings being flagged, you know, by code enforcement, uh, for work done without pulling permits, uh, and plans. I mean, this is, you know, it's shock to, shocking to read about it if you don't know this happens all the time here. So, um, yeah, you know, I mean, this is, uh, uh, and this guy was, you know, interestingly enough, this gentleman, um, who was the, uh, condo president, had been in the media before for other allegations. So you would think that these people, whether they're politicians or, you know, building, uh, uh, the building presidents who've been uh, dealt with the media, you'd think they'd be hiding when they pull off their corruption, but they don't. It's almost like they don't care that the media is covering them because nobody ever really does anything about it. More than so many cases that they'll think, okay, you know, eventually they'll get to us, but right now they can't. Because they're so busy with other cases. I, I just, it, that's what shocks me is that they don't care that the media spotlight is on them. Uh, this particular guy actually ran over a reporter, ate him with a car in a previous story. And uh, as a matter of fact, the same reporter just came out with this most, most recent story. So, you know, they've been uh, hot tailing it after this guy. But again, this is not something that's, uh, that's new. Mr. Fackler, you've lived in condominiums. You've owned condominiums. Um, uh, you've ever, ever had any uh, dealings with um, situations on your own where you thought something wasn't, uh, wasn't necessarily um, adding up? I've never really personally had the issue. Um, you know, there's been other issues associated with the condos. Um, again, you know, it's another, it's another curiosity to me, this love of condo living. I mean, you've got new assessments. You've got maintenance uh, costs going through the roof. You've got issues. You've got to deal with people you're living with, your neighbors, noises. I never really got the whole idea of condo living or the popularity of it. 
Um, so I've sort of avoided it since I sold my condo. Um, and uh, now I'm just, I'm renting and just happy to be renting. But uh, yeah, so I really personally haven't dealt with anything like that. But, you know, it's always, it's always an aggravation living in a condo as far as I'm. Although I have to ask you, you're a, you're a former condo commander, aren't you? Well, <laughs> let's, and f- let's have full disclosure here. Full disclosure was that you served on a board. Why don't you tell everybody about it? I, I did serve on the board. I was on a three-member board, and you had um, one member was hardcore one way, the other member was hardcore the, the other way. I tended to only uh, pop in when necessary, so I had a lot of the control because I would be the swing vote one way or another. I will tell you, if you do serve on a board, the only thing you get back in return is free parking tickets. Most of the time, it's, a, it's, it's unpaid, and everybody busts your balls when you go down to the pool deck or when you're riding in the elevator because they're all bitching and moaning about something. So you really have to be committed in order to serve on a condo board. And because there's no compensation whatsoever, the only people who are out there are either, uh, 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 you know, they're focused on running the building their way, or maybe uh, they're look at, uh, looking to get a big or uh, wet, looking to wet their beak somehow, some way. But I would, I'd recommend yeah. not serving on a board simply because the, uh, the push-pull, uh, uh, it's necessarily worth it. 